I was asked why should you be a traveling welder well a traveling welder installer um, you, you're gonna make more money you're gonna have downtime when you can actually enjoy life and if you can manage your money right and invest it then you look forward to those downtimes because you get a chance to travel and see the world and see life and eat food and see people that you love and spend time with your loved ones that's um, to me that's what life is about you want to get the bag but you don't want to forget to enjoy life you know I heard on the radio uh, they did a they was doing a um, an interview with some older people like a poll and you know what all of them said they wish they would have worked less, spent more time with family, and would have took care of their bodies. Work less, make the good money though, but you ain't got to work all the way out where y'all broke down. Spend time with your loved ones and your family, and take care of your health. It's very important. So, to me, being an independent traveling welder, if things don't go out right, or you get there and you have assholes on certain jobs, which you do, you might go there and say, okay, I'm here now. I get this weekend or a couple of days in to make up my money, and I'm gone. You know what I mean? So it's how you look at it. Or you just come there and say, nah, this bullshit. I'm gone. You know what I mean? They lost. So sometimes, you know, they don't tend to know how to treat certain people. And, and it's true because I didn't seen it. You know what I mean? Me personally, don't let nothing slide. If someone come across you, uh, in a negative way, you ain't got to blow up, but you need to pull a coattail. You need to check them right in, let them know, hey, watch how you talk to me. You know what I mean? I'm not this type of individual. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, for real. I mean, me personally, I'm the type of individual, if you got something on your chest, we don't have to get fired. We may have to leave the job. We can go across the street. We can go uh, behind the shed. We can go in the woods. Get this off our chest, this man. Come back to work. That's how I was raised, so... I'm not going to swap no spit with you. If you got something on your mind, we can just handle it as man and go back to work. Start burning rods. Ain't no love lost. It's just like boxing. You just lost that round. Now we back in here doing our thing. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. But that's how I was raised. So being a mobile welder, you're going to meet assholes. You're going to meet all pricks in the field. You're going to meet people that you're going to want to hang, <laughs> choke out. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm telling you, like, what the? F I'm telling you. But it's worth it. Because it gives the, it's going to give you independence. It's going to give you the freedom to be mobile, the freedom to see life, and the freedom to uh, find what you really want. So being a mobile welder to me is a great benefit. Hog on.